has enough oomph for this. Hi, I am doing this short unscripted video for my low voltage viewers uh, or anybody else who wants to use DC uh, controls to control something. So, I was recommended a device recently. It is this device, the RIBL24B. It is built by Functional Devices. It's a latching relay. Um, this should be a drop-in replacement for any relay that does not have a transformer in it. Uh, those are most often Remcon, but there were other manufacturers that made those. So make sure you know, usually they're a little bit heavier um, and they're very thick at the bottom. If you have to, pull one out, take it apart if you've, got, if you've got a bad one. This will only work with ones that are not sort of self-contained. Uh, so you folks with the fixture relays, sorry, chances are this won't help you. Uh, okay, so this is the this is the relay. These are the the um, switched contacts, the wires here. Uh, it doesn't matter which ones load and which ones line. And then here are the DC. I believe, and we'll find out momentarily uh, if I remember correctly, the red is for shutting off. The blue is for turning on. Maybe that's the other way around. Actually, I think it is the other way around. I think red is on and blue is off. And then yellow here, it goes to your um, or ground. In order to get the DC power that is required to operate this relay, we are going to use a full bridge rectifier. Um, so let me go ahead and set this up. I already have these buttons sort of, you know, haphazardly connected to this thing. It's fine. Uh, the reason that I did that is because I have another demonstration that I'm going to be doing here in a moment um, after I do this, and I wanted to use alligator clips for everything, and I'm, uh, anyway, just bear with me. Uh, also, just so that you know, I am doing semi-safe things. There's a breaker behind this and everything else, and also it is not live until I turn that on, which is part of the new lab device, which is, you know, basically just that, um, I'll probably show a picture of it right here, the Shelly box that I have all my pro stuff in, or most of my pro stuff. Uh, that is going to be what I use for all kinds of various experiments and also to demonstrate those devices themselves. Let's hook all this up and see how it works. I'm going to hook the positive up to both of these at the same time. I realize that's not fantastic, but for what we're doing here, it's just fine. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if my hat is getting into the, in the image there. It's a bit late to not wear it though. I've got it there and then let's go ahead and put this up here. there. Okay. Now, uh, let me get my meter, actually. Should have had this all along, but, you know, I am terrible at unscripted videos. This is one of the reasons why. So, I am going to Turn, get out my handy dandy meter here, which I don't know if you can see the. Can you see it? Oh, that's, a, that's a bit of a pain in the butt. I wish I could turn the backlight on, but you can't. Oh, there's the thing. Let me get something to sort of. There we go. Okay. Now, uh, I am going to turn the power on to the transformer and I'm going to check for our DC voltage. I mean, I probably could have done that before I hooked all this up, but I know it's going to work, so uh, box office. And you see the light is green, nothing has sparked or exploded, and here we have... Oops. 
24-ish eh, volts. Um, that will vary. The device is okay with that. Most of these sort of devices are manufactured knowing full well that they're going to get somewhat variable uh, power. Um, okay, so now let's just try turning it on and off. Hmm. Did I, did I do that backwards? I might have done that backwards. I did. I'm an idiot. Yeah, okay. The ground is switched. Okay, so blue is on and red is off. It's got a healthy click to it. So, there it is. That will be a drop-in replacement for your relays, if you rectify the situation. Uh, now, the next thing that I want to do with this little setup, let me shut my relay off here and discard this relay. I want to show you the new toy that you may have already seen me install at this point. I don't know because I don't know what I'm doing with this footage, but the Shelly i4DC. This thing is awesome. This is my new best friend. I love this thing so much. Uh, so I am going to just basically set this up the way that it would be set up. So I'm going to run a little wire into the ground terminal and then another wire into the hot terminal and then just connect and serve. And it is now functioning. If I go to details here, and there it is. And if I bridge, uh, let's see, I need something This was actually just sitting here. I, I didn't even plan this. So, if I put this, and what's really neat actually is that they give you uh, another terminal over here, and these are bridged internally, so you can just use that as sort of a, okay. And then, oh, whoops, this too. Ah, oh bugger. Okay, so now I'm going to have to reconnect. Dog on it. There we go. Okay. And then, you know, obviously, if I flip a switch on, it registers input three, which is the fourth one, on or off. So these are super useful as well. And you can use them for button toggles or whatever. You can also use them as, um, you know, single, double, triple press, all that fun stuff, so that you can set up various automations using the same switches if you so choose. If you are going to use these for your switches so that you have the smart part, just remember that you're going to have to run a special hot and ground for the i4s. Um, I am going to put them in just a, a regular old junction box that I have lying around and I might even double-sided tape them to the back of it and then just mount that and run the wires into it so that it looks a little bit nicer. But there you have it. Um, two really awesome, mostly drop-in replacements uh, for the low voltage relays that haunt many of my viewers' nightmares. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll join me for future videos as I continue exploring smarter circuits.